This week's crafting experiment was completely random, out of the blue, and just part of trying to help to figure out how to make a cone for one of my dogs. This was during the weekend on a Sunday when everything was closed in the area and there was nowhere that I could get a cone. So I of course went to YouTube trying to figure out how to do it. I started off trying to do the basic that I found which was cutting pieces from a pool noodle and then trying to put it around her neck. Now some of the videos I saw they did it with a string but I really wanted to try and do it with her own collar. So what I did is that I basically laid out the collar and then saw about how many of the pieces I needed to create which ended up being about 16 inches for her and then I basically made lines in three places all around the noodle and then connected just making imaginary lines more or less to create circles all over and then cut them with uh, an exacto knife or a utility knife I'm actually not sure what these are called but I I cut it with the knife and when I went to go put it in the collar, it was very challenging to get it through. I don't know if it was because the pool noodle was from the Dollar Tree and not from like a big box store. So maybe it, Dollar Tree noodles are just smaller. So I had to make some incisions on the inside very lightly to be able to fit it in. Now, unfortunately, this did not help. <laughs> The, she could still reach her tail so I think maybe the videos that I was watching it was all featuring like small dogs or very tiny short stuffy dogs so it just didn't help for the location of her wound remember this is just a dog mom panicking over how to help out her dog but be sure to do your own research get the proper equipment if you're able to in the end, the project, it, it kept on evolving, but it was really not the end solution. So I just want to say that if you are in a rush, in an emergency, trying to also create a collar for your own pet, just keep an eye on them. Make sure you visit the, the vet and follow whatever is best for you. But for now, I basically ended up doing additional layers of the noodle pieces so after i had stretched out the collar plopped all of the pieces inside then i cut up some additional sections to make it thicker hoping that the thickness around it would help kind of stop her from being able to reach her tail in between the layers i added some glue some hot glue so that they wouldn't come off and then to kind of secure it a little bit extra I also did hot glue on each of the ends of the noodle in between just again just trying to be as safe and cautious as possible after I did all the gluing though I still was a little um, hesitant on putting it on her so I added some masking tape for extra security after I had it all finished again I did a puppy trial and she could still lick herself so it really was towards the bottom of her tail which was very unfortunate but she was really good throughout all of the fittings so I made an additional layer again just cutting through the middle and then cutting all the pieces, plopping them in place, and taping them all together. And in the end, even though it was not a successful crafting experiment because I had to try something else again, it was still a good attempt, so I wanted to share it just in case it helps give some ideas of what you could try if you're really like in a crunch and just want to try and make something for your little one. While you're able to get them to the vet and if you enjoyed this video be sure to watch this one right here to learn how to upcycle a pajama into a dog toy